I'm talking today to Sarat Lala, who is the CEO of Mauritius Telecom. Sarat, tell me about the NetPC initiative which you're launching. Yeah. This is a device that I found in Chennai uh, some years ago. Chennai in India. Yes. Chennai in India. And which, has, which can bring uh, computing power to the home over the ADSL line. So we introduced it two years ago in Mauritius. And we think that with the propagation of the ADSL, we can bring that device in the home that gives you access to the internet and to simple Windows applications, uh, which basically someone is starting with computer would need. Now, at the same time, it is a device that is affordable. How much, does, how much does it cost the device? Uh, around 100 USD. Oh, so it's very cheap. Yes. So then, then we also have to, to provide with a license for use of Microsoft software and for the ADSL subscription. So, you know, and then uh, the person had to add with this device a, a keyboard yeah. and also the, the screen. So it gives, what is interesting is, is that it gives computing power and access to the internet in a hassle way. Yeah. In the sense that it is use of cloud computing. Yeah. That is everything is on our server at Mauritius Telecom. Yeah. And the guy who is accessing to it just switch on has access to the and can store the contents on our server and and uh, and can have access to, uh, from anywhere with his login and password and he or so she doesn't have to worry about virus no need and, to worry um, about it is really hassle free no need yeah. to worry about viruses uh, yeah. spywares etc yeah. so how many of these devices are you giving to the e inclusion so foundation what 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 we did is that we started propagating it in our com community centers uh, uh, social welfare centers, youth centers, centers for the women and el elderly. And this is a program on which we embarked together with the National Computer Board and the Ministry of Social Security and Ministry of Women. So this is already deployed. Now, as from tomorrow, the E-Inclusion Foundation, which is targeting at, prov at providing the deprived or those that have nuts mm. with computing, we are starting a pilot project by offering them 200 of those net PCs. And of course, they will have to have the fixed line and ADSL at home to have access to the computing power. And this is being launched tomorrow by the Minister for Social Integrity. Okay. So it is a, a, a program that is within our corporate social responsibility program of the Mauritius Telecom Foundation. Okay. And at the other end of the spectrum, you're doing Fibre to the Cabinet. Describe to me the growth of Fibre yes. to the Cabinet since yes. 2006. Since 2006, we started a strategy to propagate broadband in the island. So we used our copper wire to bring the ADSL to, to the people. And at the same time, we saw that there was a need for retention of a fixed line because of the liberalization of the telecom sector, sector and the entrance of a new operator in the fixed line. So we were bold to introduce the IPTV service and the multimedia service. That's the Mighty service. The, the Mighty, which is a brand which, which brings uh, not only the internet of ADSL, but we also have television of the, the, the copper wire line and we have also VOD services and Wi-Fi within the home. So we started that in August 2006, and I must say that it has been a success, and today it's one of the driver of our business. So how many, how many subscribers have you got to the MIT service and to the ADSL service so we, separately? Up to now we've got some 52,000 MIT subscribers and about 50,000 ADSL subscribers, if we include also the business. Okay. So, so we have just crossed the hundred thousand bar for the for Total the ADSL for a population of one point two million, which I think is is a good start, and uh, we expect this year a growth of about twenty two percent in in the broadband sector. So this is uh, for us uh, the initiative taken in two thousand and six has paid. And we see that we have uh, a, and we ha we have to deploy further because there is a demand now. So this is why we adopted that fiber to the cabinet to bring the broadband closer to the homes, because you know in this island homes are scattered all over. It is difficult for us to bring it to the home. Yeah. But we brought it to 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 the cab we brought it to the cabinet. So yeah. FTTC, 
and we started deploying 77 uh, cabinets in 2007. And you distribute on from the cabinets in copper. And now we are going to, we, we are deploying more yeah. to, to, to the copper, then the copper yeah. is only to, to the, for the last mile. Yeah, from the cabinet to yes. the home. Yeah. So we have a plan to cover about 85% of the island with FTTC. And, but for the hotels, we are bringing directly to them. Yeah, fiber so direct to the hotel. Fiber, yeah. fiber direct to the businesses, we can yeah. say. And in major uh, IRS or RES development, which are property developments, you know, Mauritius is an island covered with sugarcane. Mm -hmm. Now with the uh, development, they are converting many of those acres of uh, sugar land into big uh, land development properties. Yeah. Residential. Residential yeah. development. And there's a demand for telecom, for telecom services. And we are bringing the fiber directly to, to those uh, developments and centers. And in terms of the international bandwidth, um, Lyon 1 is now operational, which yes. connects up the islands in the Indian Ocean. When is Lyon 2 going to go yeah. live? In fact, it is Lyon. It is okay. Lower Indian Ocean Network. Okay. Uh, and uh, it is adventure together with France yeah. Telecom and Orange Madagascar. Okay. So the phase one was to connect Mauritius to Réunion and Madagascar. This is done yeah. and this is working. So there is connectivity now. We had only one station that connected Mauritius to the outside world with a safe cable system. But now with the Lion, we have a second station which gives resilience mm. to, to the uh, connectivity to the outside world. Now with the phase two of the Lion project, that will connect the Lion 1 to uh, Mayotte and uh, Mombasa. And from Mombasa, that will be operational, we expect, in December this year. And from Mombasa, it can connect to free submarine uh, cable systems, the EASY, the TEAMS, and then, of course, the SICOM. Okay, and what's an E1 costing at the moment? Uh, how much we yes. sell? Yes, how much do you sell that at? Uh, I, you were mentioning the I, number I, earlier. I have the figure for the 2 megabit yeah. uh, connectivity from yeah. Mauritius to to, par to London. Yeah, including all the backhaul in Mauritius. Around 300, 900 USD. 3,900. Yes, yeah. okay. and, and this is uh, the full circuit. Yeah, including from wherever in Mauritius yes. to wherever yes. in Europe. Yes. Yes. Yeah. The so full it's a full service. price yes. in that the full price. Yeah. Thank you very much indeed for talking to me today. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.